final of the men's 4 by 400 meter relay. The United States, Cuba behind. On the track, the United States at 258.43. Jamaica holds the Cubans arriving late, lane number five. We have been told that they have already disqualified the race anyway. Lane number one, Costa Rica, Gary Robinson is their lead man. In lane number two, Brazil, Pedro Luis de Oliveira, 45-52 man. Number three, Jamaica with the best this year of three minutes, point two three seconds. And Johnny O'McDonald is their leadoff runner, the 25 year old with the best of 45 63. Lane number six, Kyle Clemens running lead for the United States at a 44 84 personal best to earn bronze here in Toronto at the Pan Am Games in the 400 meters. Americans with a powerhouse team assembled right next to the Cubans. And it's Williams Palazzo who is leading off. He was a member of the Pan Am 2011 four by four championship team. The defending champions have been disqualified before this race starts. That's the initial information from the officials. In lane number six, Bahamas, second fastest this season, 258.91. That's Latoy Williams running the lead for them, the Texas Tech athlete. Lane number seven from Venezuela, Alberto Bravo running the lead for Venezuela. They have a best of 304.05. That's the second slowest time of the eight countries in this final this season. Out of lane number eight. Trinidad and Tobago. There's Rennie Quo. The later face on the sprint scene from one of the fastest islands in the Caribbean. Watch as they cross the line through that first lap. And they're away cleanly at the start of this 4 by 400 meter relay. And already the Americans, Kyle Clements, has run away from the Jamaican and down the straight very powerfully. Venezuela running very well out of lane number seven, making up the stagger on Trinidad and Tobago. The Trinidadians on the corner now in a great battle with Venezuela as they come through the bend. The Americans running very powerfully in that first leg. That was Kyle Clements as they come down the straight. Dennis Whalen going out very hard in that first lap. Albert Bravo as they go through the first exchange zone. And the Bahamas looking very fast as they get through and out of that exchange first. The second lap of this 4x4 four four relay race. Down the back straight they go. So once they hit back those orange cones that you can see in the background, they cut to the center of the track, and Bahamas continues to lead the way ahead of Trinidad and Cuba. Bahamas, Trinidad, and Cuba. Then the Americans laboring in fourth place right now. That's James Harris for the USA. Down the straight they come. Michael Matu of Bahamas being challenged now by Trinidad's Darren Solomon as they make their second exchange. It is Bahamas first again. Now the Cubans have moved into second place through that second exchange. And around the back straight they go. The United States remaining in fourth place at this point. A great run by Michael Matthew. 44 seconds flat for that second leg. Tremendous running. And the Americans have a lot of work to do if they hope to get on the podium at this point. But keep in mind that the Cubans are running under protest. They do not submit the proper list technicality but they're running quickly in that bronze medal position curve. The Cubans have already been disqualified for submitting their list out of order and running right now in second place. Bahamas leading Trinidad and Tobago in third and here come the Americans now in a great final lap shaping up. The United States still fourth. Bahamas first. Cuba second. Trinidad and Tobago third. With the American on that final lap, Karan Clement trying to reel in third place at least. But the Trinidadian holding him off. Around the bend they come.
Bahamas with the lead. That's Jeffrey Gibson, the Pan Am gold medalist in the 400 hurdles with the lead as they come through the bend down the straight for the final time. Bahamas with the lead. Here comes Cuba. Cuba now moving past Bahamas. What a great finishing straight. Trinidad and Tobago with a flurry. It's Trinidad. Oh, my goodness. The Cuban led up at the line. Trinidad and Tobago with a flourish and finish. Michael Cedeno down the straight. And the Cuban athlete didn't see him. And the U.S. comes third. The Cuban letting up, but it's academic. As we're told, the Cubans have already been disqualified for submitting their relay team out of order. And we're not sure if the Cubans know about this yet, but they'll be crushed if, in fact, this all comes to pass. But that's the word from officials before the race started. Trinidad and Tobago, Michael Cedeno with an incredible sprint kick down the straight as the Cuban, Lesquet, eased up Cuba and Venezuela. Well, the Bahamians got off to a tremendous start. Latoya Williams ran a 45.4 opening round lap. And here, who hands off first? It would appear that either Trinidad or Bahamas had the first exchange again with that three-turn stagger. It's very difficult to determine who is in the in first place and those cones determine once you hit them, then you can drop down to this rail of the and the Americans surprisingly in fourth position right now. The Bahamians get that pole position on the inside. A lot of push, pushing and jostling. Not quite as hectic as the 4x100 because there's not speed involved, but there is no specific lane assignment. The Bahamian here ran a 45 flat lap, so very, very fast running by all of these Bahamian runners. But what happened in the last lap for the Bahamians? They were in first with 100 meters to go and then came charging the very fast closing Cuban. But again, Mark, you have to wonder if they knew that they were disqualified already and then Trinidad and Tobago Michael Cedeno glances over the crowd for some appreciation but we have to wonder if this is going to be a technicality that the Cubans end up disqualified the Cuban looked like he looked to his right and saw the Trinidadian athlete and shut it down gave up he realized he was beaten watch this the Trinidadian athlete pulls up on the Cuban and he realizes he's beaten what a finish by Trinidad's Michael Cedeno fresh and running right past the Cuban to victory here tonight. The Americans finishing third in this race.